Okay guys, today we're gonna be doing a video. We're doing some review for you. What's better, rope mod for climbing, cam buckle, tethered daisy chains. Let's see, stay tuned. And if you guys enjoy this content, please drop a comment below, hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications. It really helps us out and it lets us know what kind of stuff you guys wanna see. So stay tuned, we're gonna do our review. Okay guys, so what we're doing today here is I'm gonna go over a couple different methods for attaching your stick to the tree. And a couple of things that we've went through over the years here that have seemed to work or should say, oh, I got like 30 deer running through the woods right now. It's the last day of gun season too, so I'm wondering if they got bumped somewhere. Holy smokes, is there a lot. Oh, there's a buck pushing them. No kidding. Huh. Probably 15 of them. Oh, cool. Well, anyway, back to the video. The dog's sitting here. She's pretty good. She will not run unless I let her. Either way. So, <clears throat> what we have here is uh, three different styles. We have the old school cam buckle, which works just fine. I'm going to go over the rope mod for attaching the stick. And I'm going to go over this new am steel type cord from tethered um, on daisy chain I believe is what it's called as well and we're going to show you here real quick my my version of what I think the pros and cons of each one are although if you own any one of these they all attach to a tree safely they don't move they work there's just a little bit of inefficiencies within a couple of them so I'm just going to go over that real quick so first thing we'll start with is the old cam buckle which to be honest with you to me is probably the sturdiest, meaning once this thing sucks down, there's really nowhere for it to go. Um, it's bigger. I would say for someone that's potentially maybe a larger person, this would be maybe safer, although they're all rated in the 300 pound range, I believe. That rope maybe 400, and I think the daisy chain from Tethered's even more. But the pro of it is I do like how it attaches to the stick and it stays very nicely, but that doesn't outweigh the cons as far as I'm concerned. So for the cam style buckle, like so, that comes on every stick you, you really have ever bought, the, the negative, I would have to say, would be attachment. When I get up here and I'm on the tree and I wanna swing this around and I, oh man, that's too short, okay. When it's cold, pushing this cam lever over and saying, all right, let's let out some more slack. Let's let out some, oh, still not good enough. Then I come around like so and I attach it. Oh, and then it drops. I got to pull it back up. Then I got to hold it. Then I got to tighten it. All the while, you also have a metal on metal contact if this were to swing down. And as you can hear, if it does, it's it makes a pretty good clanky noise. And I've had them do this before and it sucks because you can feel like you can hear it from the other side of the mountain. So <clears throat> the pro list, durable, thick, heavy duty. It's not going to break. There's nowhere for it to go. There's tons of stitching. The negative, width. I hunt in a lot of big timber. This will not get around a very large diameter tree. I mean, realistically, this is pulled out all the way. That's not a very big tree. I hunt a lot of big timber. This doesn't make it around, which kills you. So I had, for years, extensions on these with, with uh, climbing rope until I went into the rope mods. So I don't like them because of noise, um, efficiency of tying, or width of tree. However, they work. They hold sturdy. Once that sticks up there, that thing is locked tight. It is not moving. I do like that, and I use these for most of my lock-on stands. So cam buckle, done. Let's move on to the rope mod, which I made myself. These are, uh, what is it, eight millimeter climbing rope. And I actually bought some, it's like electrical shrink wrap tubing. So for my spare, I put it over, heat shrink it, boop, it stops there. I make a loop just big enough for my cam buckle or my cam holder or cleat or whatever you want to call it. And the rope mod, I've been using this for years and I am still 
partial to liking these. I love the daisy chain because of the weight, but I really like these and, and I'm going to show you why. So what you do is hook onto the buckle and it's very simple. You get up against a tree, you throw around and here's where I like the rope. There's a little bit of weight to it and when I throw, it whips around and hits me and it's simple. And all I do is lasso it up, lasso it down wherever you want to go, suck it down tight and all we're doing here is going over the rope that's around, under, and then I just do an overhand knot. And she's done, that's it. There is nowhere else to go. It's sucked down, this thing, it doesn't move. There's no noise. The weight is very simplistic. And once you're on there, it's, it really has nowhere to go. Um, I don't really have a, a, a negative to a rope mod. I've never had a bad experience. I have no reason to list anything negative because I don't know what it would be. And when you get done, it's very simple because this climbing rope is pretty abrasion resistant. You just up, the slack's out of it, you pull the knot out, and she's done. She's back off. And all I do is come around the bottom of my cam, knot over to here, and then it pretty well stays just like that. So rope mod, high on my list. Now to the daisy chain, the tethered daisy chain. So, pros, very, very light, super, super packable, extremely large. It's, I wanna say eight feet in length. There's not a tree you're going up that you can't get around. When you go to pack it, it's very simple, comes around the stick, and they put this nice, awesome elastic loop with this weighted ball that stretches. So anywhere you can attach to, whether it be here, or here, that thing doesn't have anywhere to go, which is kind of nice. Um, the rope mod, actually, I left out, customizable. Make it as big as you want. I used to have an eight foot rope mod on my first stick and I numbered the sticks. My number one stick would have the largest rope and my number four stick would have the shortest rope because as you go up, the diameter gets smaller. These are all one standard length, which is fine. They weigh nothing, which is going to be my, my one con to the daisy chain. It's not really a con, it's just a personal preference. There's a lot of length and there's not a lot of weight. And what I find myself doing sometimes is when I'm up high and you're trying to get going is one of these. And then you're pulling slack out and you're coming back around and it's not throwing correctly. So it's a little bit harder. Now the key to it is get down to the end of the rope and have very, very little slack and just come around. But I know it's so long, it gets caught up on stuff and it kind of wants to untangle. And this loop, loop for hooking around my cam cleat or whatever you want to call this is so large, I've actually had one where I was swinging and this popped off and my rope went right to the ground. So that's a con to me, but really not. It's not for durability, usage, and versatility. It, that's next to nothing. But if I had to say rope versus this one, that would be my only con. However, I ran these the whole year because of the size and the weight and the packability was fantastic. Then all you do, you come around the tree and this daisy chain has loop after loop after loop after loop. If you can see these in here, there's tons of them. Every three inches, there's a loop. You pick the closest loop. Okay, we'll say this one right here. You suck it down and voila, it's sturdy as a rock. She's got nowhere to go as well. It's not moving. I don't know what the weight rating is on these, but I know it's a lot. I know it's a ton. And then what I do, this actually has so much length, I don't like them dangling. I'll just come down between my stick and I just come right back up. And I usually just hook it somewhere, leave it hang, whatever I gotta do. Either way, it's out of the way and I don't have a sing in the wind, they'll do this because it's very light and there's a lot of slack usually. With eight feet of cord, if you're going up a small tree, you got seven feet dangling. So <clears throat> my, my pro list, weight, packability, versatility, goes around any tree. It's pretty sturdy. I've never had it move. I wouldn't use one on my platform saddle hunting. Um, I, don't, I like the ratchet strap for that. I want that thing as tight as I can get to the tree. But all in all, we got our three mods. I wouldn't say there's a clear winner. The cam buckle would be a clear loser, in my opinion, in terms of 
if I had the option, does it work? 100%. I've used them forever, and I absolutely don't have a fault to it. I just happen to notice that buckle seems to hit quite a bit, so I don't like using them. And as far as the tethered goes, <clears throat> if you don't like to carry your ropes in on your sticks, here's the tethered cord. That's pretty small, so my hands aren't exactly gigantic, and there's one of the rope mods for it. That's pretty nice. You can shove four of these in your bag, no problem, and pull them out one by one. I believe Jack actually brings each one out at a time as he goes around to keep them from dangling. So in my opinion, the rope mods, you can make them for just a shade cheaper than you can buy these, but not by much because you gotta buy rope in a certain length. So in reality, cost is interchangeable, usage is interchangeable. They both have pros and they both have a con kind of pick what your liking is, but I would say both of them are very efficient. Quiet, quick, they're on and off almost instantaneously and you're up the tree and down the tree, just eliminating time and noise, which is what you're going for. So, all right guys, I hope this was helpful. This is just what we found. It doesn't mean any of it's right or wrong. It's just what me and Jack do. I actually believe he was these all winter as well and still is, I mean, we're here in December. So I hope this was useful. Remember guys, when you're out there in the woods, always be original.